What is the unique influence on the weather in the Keweenaw? And what does a year through the seasons look like? My name is Lisa and we live here in the Keweenaw, a peninsula located in the northernmost part of the UP of Michigan. The weather in the Keweenaw is unique because of the influence from Lake Superior. Every season tells a story and this mighty lake plays a starring role. The Keweenaw Peninsula is surrounded on three sides by Lake Superior, which is the largest, coldest, and deepest of the Great Lakes one of the largest freshwater lakes in the world and it plays a critical role in our winter's climate. Today we are going to journey through the chill of winter and the awakening of spring, exploring how the mighty Lake Superior influences our weather. This is part one of a two-part series. January is typically cold, windy, and snowy, with average temperatures ranging from the teens to low 20s, with occasional cold spells dipping below zero. Those are bad temperatures compared to inland, where it can dip to 30 below zero without wind chill. In January, there is usually significant snowfall, mostly due to lake effect snow. Let me explain. The waters of Lake Superior often remain warmer than the air above it. Lake effect snow occurs when the cold Arctic air moves over the lake. The cold Arctic air picks up moisture from the lake surface and drops it as snow when it reaches inland. As a result of this influence, the Keweenaw experiences significant snowfall with average annual snowfalls of 250 to 300 inches. Our home is located directly in the Keweenaw snow belt. We absolutely love the heavy snow. However, it can be a challenge at times. There is a lot of shoveling and snow removal that needs to be done. By the time February arrives, there's feet of snow on the ground. February in the Keweenaw is characterized by its harsh winter climate with heavy snowfall and cold temperatures. Let me remind you, the average snowfall here in the Keweenaw Peninsula is 250 to 300 inches. Once the snow builds up on the roof, it has to be shoveled so it doesn't cave in. I am truly grateful Randy is still able to shovel our roof, but many people will need to hire someone to do this very hard and tiring job. February in the Keweenaw is a time of beauty and adventure, but it requires a readiness to face the realities of winter living. The 
beginning of March often sees a significant accumulation of lake effect snow, with winter conditions still taking the lead. It's not uncommon for winter conditions to continue well into the month. Snow season typically ends in late April or early May. As the month progresses and the temperatures begin to rise during the day, but still get below freezing at night, this is a period which creates ideal conditions for maple sap to start running. The Keweenaw is home to thousands of maple trees. Each year we tap a maple tree and collect just enough sap to drink. It has a lot of good vitamins and minerals, something we could use after a long cold winter. One day, we hope to tap a few more maple trees and make some syrup with our grandkids. March is an excellent time for outdoor activities like skiing, snowshoeing, and snowmobiling. Living in the Keweenaw during March requires adaptability and patience while looking forward to the warmer days. We try to embrace the changing seasons. We balance the joys of winter with the anticipation of spring. Spring comes in stages here, and in early April, the Keweenaw often experiences a dramatic clash of winter and spring, bringing strong winds and heavy snowfall. April is a very unpredictable month. But by mid-April, winter begins to loosen its grip somewhat. The deep snow that has blanketed the landscape for months begins to melt. The landscape will continue to transform as spring progresses through the month of May. It's great. April snow. Yep, April snow. It always happens. Life in the Keweenaw during April means embracing the beauty of the changing seasons. We take advantage of being outdoors on the warmer days in April. Then the stage of mud season begins and can last until mid-May. This is the messy transition period that occurs as winter begins to yield to spring. The slow but inevitable melting of snow saturates the ground and transforms the landscape into a muddy mess. The sound of raging water can be heard as streams swell with runoff. There's something in the air. 
and the air fills with the fresh scent of wet earth. For those living in the Keweenaw, mud season is a rite of passage. It signifies the end of winter and the promise of warmer days ahead. We embrace this mess, knowing it won't be long before the landscape is a lush green again. The month of May is another transitional month and another stage to spring. May itself has three stages to spring. Snow in early May is common yet because of the lingering effects of Lake Superior. Cold air masses can sweep down from the north and when combined with moisture from Lake Superior can lead to unexpected snow showers. What happened? Look at the slushy mess. Huh, I'm tired. <laughs> I almost feel the cold water through them today. As the month progresses, temperatures gradually rise and signs of life emerge. Toward the end of the month, the landscape transforms, revealing green grass and beautiful new leaves on the trees. How can it be so perfect? Absolutely perfect. Living in the Keweenaw during May means experiencing a unique blend of the season's transition. Due to its vast size, depth, and temperature, Lake Superior acts as a natural climate buffer. During the summer months, the water temperature is much cooler compared to the warmth of the land. As a result, the air above the lake helps cool the surrounding land. It brings in the cooler air, providing relief from the summer heat. This lake breeze effect can significantly reduce daytime temperatures in the Keweenaw, making the summers very enjoyable and comfortable. June is a vibrant and magical time, marking the transition from spring into summer. The forest becomes a lush green, and the wildlife returns to our forest for the summer. The bears return hungry after a long hibernation. Fly. 
By mid-June, summer is in full swing and has become a haven for those looking to enjoy the outdoors, particularly on its many waterways and beaches. A very busy place is the Kessner Water Park, located right on the Portage Canal in downtown Houghton. This scenic waterway is a hub for activity during the summer. Locals and visitors head to the canal for swimming, boating, paddleboarding, or just simply enjoying the beautiful waterfront. It's an ideal place to gather with family and take in the amazing views of the surrounding landscape. Living in the Keweenaw during June means enjoying long daylight hours with the sun setting late into the evening. See you again very soon with part two of A Year Through the Seasons in the Keweenaw. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.